Major Mohammad Ali Shah, defense analyst, is joining us at this point on the broadcast. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, uh, your thoughts on Kargil Vijay Divas today as our nation commemorates and remembers our braves who laid down their lives to win this war and defend the nation. Ode, thank you very much for doing this program and remembering our martyrs, our heroes, our true heroes of the nation. That reminds me of these golden words which were written on the Koima Hagma Cemetery when I was posted in Nagaland, which read, When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrow, we gave our today. How can a man die better than facing the applause for the ashes of his fathers and the temples of his God? So yes, our true heroes, our brave hearts, they, were, they achieved victory for us. For their sacrifices, we are here today. And just some time back, I messaged uh, Captain Vijayan Thapar's uh, father, Colonel Vijayan Thapar, and his brother, Bertie. And uh, we would be speaking in a while. And of course, uh, the, the GOC at that time of 8th Mountain Division, uh, Major General Mohinder Puri, now Lieutenant General Mohinder Puri retired, who's a neighbor as well. And I would be speaking to him in some time on my YouTube channel. And as well as uh, Mr. Uh, Vishal Batra, who is the brother of Captain... Uh, 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 of Captain Batra, Paravi Chakra. So I would be speaking to him as well. So these, this is a time when we actually remember our martyrs. Why only on 15th August or 26th January on Kargil Bebe Vijay Devas? Why can't we remember our true heroes the entire year? And Uday, I would like to recite a letter which Captain Vijayan Thapan had written to his family before he was martyred and before he went for his final assault. And I'll just read a few lines of that. He said, he wrote, my loving Papa, Mummy, Granny, and Bertie. By the time you get this letter, I would be observing you all from the skies, enjoying the hospitality of Amsaras. I have no regrets. In fact, if I were to be born again as a human, I would choose to join the army and fight for my country. Whichever organ needs to be taken should be taken and donated. Please donate some money to the orphanage and continue giving rupees 50 to Ruxana every month. Papa, you must be proud. Mama, so must you. If ever you get a chance to please come and see where the Indian Army fought for your tomorrow. I hope a photograph of mine is kept in the Alpha Company Mandir next to Kandi Mata. Anyhow, Mama Ji, please forgive me for what I have done, for whatever wrong I would have done. Anyhow, it's about time I go and join my clan of dirty dozen. My assault party has... 12 chaps. Live life, king size. Yours, Robin, Jen. So these were the emotions, the words of our true brave, our true patriot. So we have to understand how much sacrifice, blood, sweat in those, the enemy was there, of course, were there. I mean, as you rightly brought out in the beginning. But the greater enemy was the conditions, the weather, the climate, the lack of oxygen. In a difficult terrain where it's difficult to send supplies, but our suppliers did a great job. They kept sending the supplies. And the enemy was on an elevated position. They were dominating the land from there. And our soldiers were just like sitting ducks. But yet our soldiers gave up a gave up very tough fight. And they gave such a beating to the Pakistan army that they went running from there. And the worst part is, you know what? The Pakistan army refused to acknowledge the dead bodies of their soldiers who were killed in action. They said they're not ours until we found identity card from them. And then we got to know that they are from regular Pakistan army. They were regular Pakistani army personnel. And you know, when we actually, when our seniors, when my seniors, when our troops captured the peak from top, there was no ration, there was nothing to eat. So they found honey, they found some ration in their cookhouse with which they made tea in a helmet because there were no utensils. So they made tea in the helmet when they reached on top and they celebrated on that tea. And you can imagine in a climate 18,000 feet above mean sea right. level. Okay. Vikramadu Bakshi and Major Shah, thank you very much for joining us with your perspective on that big story.